It was in more ways than one a historic meeting. The Indian Prime Minister Mr. I.K. Gujral met the U.S. President Bill Clinton in New York this week. The meeting, which had been scheduled during Mr. Gujral's visit to New York, where he had gone to address the UN General Assembly, was preceded with a great deal of speculation. Critics had claimed that the United States would make an attempt to mediate in the dispute between India and Pakistan. They were also apprehensive that the USA would try and arm twist India in reversing India's stated goal on the disarmament issue. However, observers argued that finally what transpired between the two heads of government could be termed as a highly successful meeting. Mr. Clinton, in fact, even reassured India that the US did not want to mediate between India and Pakistan on Kashmir. Critics in India had been categorical in asserting that no country had any right to interfere in the Kashmir issue. The two sides, however, indicated a willingness to discuss differences over the disarmament issue, including the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty, CTBT, in which India's position has been forthright. Observers, however, feel that the primary gain from the meeting between Mr. Gujral and Bill Clinton was the assurance given that the USA would lift trade sanctions against Indian companies. In an effort to signal the government of India's commitment to liberalization, the Prime Minister included the Finance Minister Mr. P. Chidambaram in his team, which met with the US President. Mr. Chidambaram spoke on India's needs for greater foreign investment and the steps taken by the government to attract overseas funds. Although there was speculation that the question of India's membership in an expanded Security Council would come up, this matter did not figure in Mr. Gujral's talks with the US President. However, in his speech to the United Nations General Assembly, Mr. Gujral made a forceful plea for India's inclusion as a permanent member of the UN Security Council. He said, we are the largest democracy in the world and New Delhi is ready to take on the responsibility. Mr. Gujral also called for a global war against terrorism. Incitement to terrorism and complicity and participation in terrorism across the borders undermines the international system. Experts claim that without referring to Pakistan, the Prime Minister had made a compelling plea for India's case. During his visit to New York, Mr. Gujral also had a 45-minute meeting with the Pakistan Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. Although observers contend that not much was achieved in this meeting, the fact that both countries agreed to keep the dialogue going was in itself a positive sign. Analysts maintain that in the follow-up to Mr. Gujral's visit to New York, we could witness a perceptible shift in the US policy towards South Asia. They contend that there now seems to be a better understanding of India's strategic concerns and global vision in the White House.